Practice less. Win more. PoolTeacher.com Hello! I'm Master Instructor Anthony Beeler, and today I want you to consider why you should treat every defensive shot like a multiple choice question. So let's go to the table and find out why. It was 2007 at the Clarion Hotel and Convention Center in Louisville, Kentucky, and I was pitted against top-ranked professional Lewis Ulrich. And Lewis had just won the Big Table uh, Grand Masters event in Louisville, and I was playing him in the Midnight Madness tournament, uh, and it, actually it was the the finals of the event and uh, I was pitted with the layout of balls as shown here you'll notice that this is a game of eight ball and I have the solids Lewis had the stripes and uh, you notice that pretty much all my balls were tied up and I had a tough decision to make in this instance I think you can see that the first thing that would come to a player's mind is to play just a simple bunt safety. And what I mean by that is to just bunt the cue ball into the two, break the three free, and play a safety behind the two. I venture to say that about 95% of the players out there would attempt to do the shot I've just described. And it looks something like this. Now, if you shoot that shot against the top, top player, that's totally wrong. That's the wrong choice. So now let's address why that's the wrong choice. And the reason it's the wrong shot is because if you're playing against the firepower of a top-ranked professional like Lewis, he's going to come to the table say eight ball corner pocket and then proceed to kick at the eight ball to win the game. And I venture to say a good 40 to 50 percent of the time you're going to end up losing the game. That can't be the right choice. And I'm happy to say that when I played the game that day, as I got down on the shot to pull the trigger to play that safety, I got back up and I decided to do something else. In fact, I decided to give myself multiple options. And I said to myself, well, if this is option A to thin off the ball and leave him here and maybe watch him kick the ball in. What are some other options that I could shoot? Another option was to thin off and come down to the end rail. And I thought, you know what, maybe if I did that, he might still go to the cushion and shorten it up, withdraw, and still kick that ball into the corner pocket. So I didn't like option A or option B. So I looked around the table and said, where would I not want to be if I were in his shoes? And the only thing that I can come up with is over here to this side of the table. I thought, you know what, if he's over here next to this cushion, he can't use it to kick the eight ball in and beat me. How many times have you taken a multiple choice test, whether it be the ACT, the SAT, or a high school test, where at the top the instructions read, choose the best answer. And safety shots are no different. Don't just get down on a shot that you see and shoot the simplest thing possible. Even though this shot is really easy to execute and, and really easy to 
to put my opponent behind some blockers here, that doesn't mean it's the right choice. In fact, I would rather my opponent hit the eight ball 100% of the time than watch him kick it in and end the game and win the match because of a poor choice that I made. And so, what I decided to do that day was choose option C. And I knew if I left him over here on this side of the table, he was going to hit the eight ball 100% of the time. But the fact that more than likely he would not kick that ball in and beat me made this a much better choice than just rolling behind the two and three and giving him a chance to win. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Now you can see where the cue ball is. And uh, I think you can see that this is a much better safety than the one before. If he kicks at the eight ball soft, there's a good chance he may bounce off the rail and leave me a shot at the one in the corner pocket. If he kicks at it hard, there's a good chance that either the cue ball or the eight ball can break out my cluster and I could win the game. I'm happy to say that, that day that Lewis kicked at it hard, he broke out the cluster, and he missed the ball, and I ran out to win that tournament. And to this day, I believe it's because I didn't just jump on the simplest thing out there. I gave myself several options, and I chose the best answer. And again, the best answer is not always the easiest shot to execute. So the next time you're faced with a defensive shot, remember, give yourself options. The simplest thing to do may not be the right choice. If you give yourself two or three options and you choose the best answer, then that's going to give you the best chance to win. Think about this. Make it a part of your game. Treat every shot like a multiple choice question and I think you'll win more games than ever before.